So my work's doing a uh, multicultural potluck lunch on Friday, and we drew a whole bunch of different regions out of a hat uh, to, to determine who's going to cook what from where. And I drew Pacific Islands, including Hawaii. That was specified on the slip. The first thing that comes to mind, of course, is a Hawaiian pizza with uh, ham, uh, pineapple. What else is on that? Anyway, I did some searching on the internet and I found a dish from Papua New Guinea called bully beef. And it's a casserole. And it consists of canned corned beef, diced tomatoes, and rice, and coconut milk. One of those throw everything together kind of recipes, I guess. So I'm going to give that a shot and try that out. So we're going to start with the rice. I think for this dish, it, we're going to do maybe two cups. I'm using white rice for this. Usually I'll, I'll cook with brown rice, but uh, I'm going to use white rice because uh, it seems to suit the kind of trashy nature of this recipe. We're going to put four cups of water in there. Hmm, that's one. Don't lose track. Don't lose track now. Two. And four. And we'll uh, put that on the stove. Uh, turn it on high and start the start the water boiling. I'm gonna measure out two cups of rice. Uh, I like to measure things out. Uh, before I add them, just uh, because it's kind of like a cooking show that way. All right, there we go. So the water's coming to a nice boil, so we're just gonna add our rice right in there. Make sure we get it all in there. I like to uh, give things a little stir, break things up a little bit, get the water right in there, you know? Um, and then, dump the lid back on. Let it uh, get up to a nice temperature and bring it down. Yeah, bring it down nice and low. And set the timer for about 15 minutes for a white rice. That's what the, that's what the bag says, okay? That's what the bag okay, says. Okay, so we're going to do this like an unboxing, all right? So we've got Hereford corned beef here in a can. And uh, right away you're going to notice that... Um, that it's a product of Brazil. Um, that's really interesting, especially being here in Thunder Bay. Um, for slicing, make sure that you cool the can thoroughly before opening it. Uh, I suppose that's uh, maybe in reference to the way that some people like to prepare their corned beef. I suppose they like to um, uh, cook the meats in the in the can before they open it. I don't I don't know. I'm not planning on doing that here. So here we go, we're gonna keep going. And I'm just gonna finish this off. Okay, all right, so. No, I don't know what, let's put that there. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. Let's get it. Yes. That's a beautiful corned beef. Look at that. Mmm. And so I think for this, I'm just going to I'm going to slice it up. Just slice it right down. Like so. Oh, 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 there we go. Yeah. Uh, this is my can opener. I used to have a very fancy looking can opener, and the handle came right off. So I don't use fancy can openers anymore. And coconut milk. And what does that look like inside? Well, I probably should have shaken the can because you can see that it looks really clear. It looks really clear until I dig it up. 
So clearly this has been sitting on the shelf for a while. Okay, so rice is done. And I just completed a video about how to cook rice. That's great. Oh, look at that steam. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I also made some butter squash soup today. So that's what's in the background. So let's get the meat out of the way. I'm just going to put this over. And I haven't done the dishes from the soup yet. Let's put that over there. And uh, we'll move rice over there. Here's the dish. I don't remember if it needs to be greased. Okay, so there's nothing about greasing the pan. Spread about half the rice at the bottom of the pan. I'm going to lose my rice. Alright, so I've, I've sort of patted it down to make a, a layer, bottom layer of rice there. I wonder what that's going to be like. And now we'll take the tomatoes. And we're supposed to do about half the tomatoes on top of this. Usually if, oh boy, tomatoes can make my tongue sting sometimes. I don't usually like them that much. But if they're cooked well, I don't know. Oh, that is almost half. Perhaps two cups of rice is too much. And now the meat. How do I do this? Oh dear. Alright, so something like this, and I'll just sort of layer that on. And then it looks something like this, and we repeat the steps. And now we'll just pour the whole can, supposedly, of coconut milk. Now, I'm going to bake at 400 for about half an hour. Uh, all the recipe says is to bake until heated through. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, when we come back, it'll be cooked. All right, it's about ready, uh, I guess. Wow, that looks really interesting. The coconut milk seems to have formed a bit of a skin. Interesting kind of thing here. So I'm just going to scoop that out. It has kind of a subtle taste. Um, obviously it's got four ingredients only. So you can really taste everything. Um, tomato is not too strong, the beef isn't too strong, and the coconut milk isn't too strong. It's really not bad. I kind of like it. Which is good because I've got a lot of it to eat. Hmm. Anyway, to success, I would like Kind of recommend it. Enjoy.